Welcome everyone to another Yu-Gi-Oh! Special Edition unboxing. This time we are doing Absolute Power Force. In the 5Ds era, and during this time all these products were actually sealed, like this with Konami's, um, you know, sealed. Which is why it's like this, but I'll go ahead and unbox it in just a bit. Anyway, this product has a lot of really interesting stuff. The most expensive product here, or product, sorry, card in this product, is actually the Ghostware Majestic Star Dragon, which is approximately 50, almost 50 bucks, about 48 or so is what it's valued at right now. Which is pretty damn amazing, honestly. That's even more than, you know, something that I pulled in the last episode, which I'm not going to spoil. But yeah, so that's that one. Um, Ultimate Rares obviously are a lot. They can range anywhere from like, you know, a little bit as like seven bucks or so up to like approximately, um, you know, 30 bucks or whatever. Yeah, so that's pretty good. Uh, but the, actually before I keep talking about that, let me show you the back here. You get one or two variants. Um, Dandelion's not worth anything, sadly, um, but Red Eyes, Darkness Metal Dragon can be worth up to about six bucks, this specific version of it. So that's actually a really pricey card for being a variant, honestly. You, cards usually, because they're variants, usually don't get that pricey. But who knows, maybe this one, you know, will, will be our lucky day with a good variant here, you know? But anyway, the most expensive non-Ultimate Rare or non-Ghost Rare cards in this product here are actually Double X Saber Hyunli, huh, I think, and Double X Saber Emmer's Blade. They're both worth approximately 7 to $8 each. So, yeah, there, there's something, you know? Oh, God. There we go. All right, here we go. Please let it be, Red Eyes. Can I... Darkness Metal Dragon, can I please get lucky for once with these variants? And... Oh, my God, I actually did. Yeah, this is approximately... From what I saw, it can be worth up to $6. So, it's... It's a classic. It's had reprints since, of course, but a lot of those are commons and stuff. But this is a super rare. One of the first releases. I don't know what the very first release was. I don't know if it was that, but... No, it wasn't. There's no way it was, but... At least I don't think so. Jeez. All right, but that's pro potentially up to six bucks. So it's worth. And here are the three absolute power force packs. Once again, any ghost rare, or sorry, the ghost rare of you know majestic star dragon, and any ultimate rare will do. But if I'm looking for uh, non ultimate rare, non ghost rare, I would be looking for double X saber Hunley, Hunley. I don't know how to pronounce that specifically, and double X saber Emmer's blade. Those are by far the two. Um, the two best cards in terms of value here in this pack. So let's see here. All right, we're gonna start with Rose Fairy for this one. This card is either from redact your hand by the effect of a spell drive. You can spell them. Oh, cool. Okay. So that's Rose Fairy. We got Fire Ant. Ascator. Okay. There we go. Then we got Spider's Lair. I know this card really well. Oh my God. Pretty annoying from what I remember. Well, sort of, but. Oil Man, okay. Vicer Death, that's the rare. When this card is normal summon, select like one monster your opponent controls, destroy it, monster during your stand third standby phase after the summon. This card cannot be disturbed by battle until its effect is resolved. Very outdated card now, as you can see. All right, so those are rare that we got. These older packs, once again, they don't guarantee you both a super and a rare. That's super rare, at least, and a rare. Okay. Oh. Alright. I saw the summoning effect there. Sepe? Sepai. Man, some of these names, I'm telling you, I'm just like, what the hell? Alright, well. Machine King 3000 BC. Okay. And, oh. You need Cyclar? What the heck? The third of the brothers following. Tricycle, god damn it. All right, well, that's it for the commons. We got a rare, I don't believe that's worth anything, um, but I will double check once I open up all these packs here. Moving on to pack number two. Every now and then packs do kind of get stuck, like it's hard to explain, but ripping it off in the back, it kind of gets jammed a little bit and it's a lot more, you need a lot more force. So you can just open it the old fashioned way by like not actually denting the pack, of, you know? Oh my god, seriously. Another Rose Fairy at the top, once again. Are you serious? Isn't that the same too? Dude, what? Whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on. Are you seeing this? And then that. And then Fire Ant. And then Fire Ant. And then Spider's Lair. And then Spi- 
What the hell is this? Okay, well the foils, or the, you know, holographic is different. Chimera the Flying Mythical Beast. Yep. A good, um, good well-known Yugi card, you know? I mean, not good, I don't like it's a good card, because it's not, but... What the hell was this? Okay, well we got some different ones now. We got, okay, that was really odd. Gravekeeper Steel. It's like two Gravekeeper monsters and add them to your hand. This effect cannot be negated by the effect of Necro Valley. Okay. Nature's Reflection. How the were the first four in that specific order? What is, what are the odds of that? Variety comes out. Okay. And Advanced Force. Okay, so we've only gotten two rares right now. Uh, this one has not been so great, but I can't really complain after what we pulled last time, which again, I'm not going to spoil, but, um, okay. We got one pack left. It's not over yet. What can we get from this one, right? It's okay, I'll just open the old-fashioned way. That's perfectly fine. Yeah, see, this one's different. This is a shredder with three Ds. Okay. Reptilian Gardener. This turn into a graveyard. I want to not to react your hand. Okay, well, I mean, it's a, it's a searcher at least, right? Pot of Benevolence. Select two cards from the graveyard and triple them into the owner's deck. After activation, remove this card from the from play instead of sending it to the graveyard. Hmm. Ooh, Dragonic Guard. We got a super rare. All right. Each time a monster is normal summon or set, place one Dragonic counter on this card. You can set its face of cards to the graveyard to spill them in one drive that monster from your deck whose level is less than or equal to the number of Dragonic counters on this card. Okay. Seems like a very slow card though because it's only normal summon or set, not special summon. If it was special summon, you could do a spam abuse, you know? And then we- oh, we got birth on that, wow. <laughs> we got the pieces that we needed, you know, to make the, the flying mythical beast. Normal summoner flip something, you can add one gazelle from your deck to your hand too, but it's a freaking tribute monster with 1400 attack. But yeah, these are more so just, these are just play because they're iconic Yugi cards, but like obviously nobody's gonna play them. Like in any kind of competitively viable or even roguelike deck. Ritual of Destruction, okay. Forgotten Temple of the Deep, alright. Another card that's treated as Umi while it's on the field. Another Gravekeeper Stel Steel, I don't know why it says Stel. And nature's reflection again. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at some prices to see if any of this is actually valuable. Okay, I just did some checking real quick, and let me just tell you, all four of these are worthless. <laughs> Sadly, yeah, they are. Burfamet is about 15 cents. Chimera is about 15 cents. Visor Death is another 15 to 20 cents, and this thing is about 50 cents of value. So, however, one thing that's interesting is. Pot of Benevolence is actually worth about a dollar to a dollar fifty, uh, but everything else is pretty much not um, from all these all this bulk here. And the Red Eyes Darkness Battle Dragon once again six bucks. Some are saying as low as four. That's what I was saying up to. A little tricky. Let's just you know meet in the middle. Let's say five plus a dollar here, maybe a dollar in bulk. You know, um, six, seven, about seven bucks. Eight if you want to count this as you know an extra buck. Uh, we spent about, once again, another 12 bucks on this. That's the average price of this, so... You know, we made some of it back. Not a complete profit that time, but... I suppose it's fine, right? Alright, so, um, as always, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great, and of course, a fantastic day.